Yes, I know this isn't superhero related, but I can't stop thinking about it. Please do yourself a favor and watch this masterpiece of a show, Shogun. This is going to be a fast review. I'm not going to take up too much time. I just want to share my thoughts on this incredible, amazing show. So first of all, the acting in the show. Hiroyuki Sanada as Toronaga is incredible. He's the best part of the show, and it's probably the best performance of his that I've seen from him. Anna Sawai as Mariko-sama is incredible, so heartfelt, and she's a super compelling character. Cosmo Jarvis as Blackthorn or Anjin-san was an amazing performance. The relationship between himself and Mariko-sama is engaging and really pulls at your heartstrings. And finally, Tadanobu Asano as Yubushige was great. He's a really entertaining character, a tragic character, but he's brilliantly portrayed. Next, we have the writing. It's insane how engaging and thought-provoking the writing is in this show. You really have to pay attention to everything, so I highly recommend, you know, eliminating any kind of distraction, turn your phone off. You need to zero in on this show to fully comprehend every single detail and aspect to the story. It's that complex, but I promise you it's worth it. So like I said, it can be complex at times, but it makes more sense as the series goes on. Episode 1 is a lot of exposition and setup, but it gets the wheels turning with episode 2. The story really gets to progress as episode 1 finishes. I really admire that they stuck primarily with the Japanese language. I'd say 80% of the show is in Japanese and 20% is English. I watched the true version of the show. There's no English dub, just Japanese with English subtitles when Japanese is spoken. It's mixed. But there is the option to, you know, have the dubbed version where the Japanese characters are speaking Japanese, but you can make it so that they talk in English. Everyone bounces off of each other very well. The detail in this story is intricate and cautiously placed. There's so many cultural aspects honored in it, and the political tactics of the time are well explored. It's a very, you know, complex story, but it does meticulously uncover all the different kind of cultural things that were going on at the time and all these different political tactics and strategies that these people in power were using. Next, we have the cinematography. This show is beautifully shot. There's like art gallery worthy shots. Seriously, it's incredibly breathtaking. So this takes place in feudal Japan, which is recreated so amazingly. The action sequences are so intense to take in and the slow dramatic scenes captivate you. And it's all because of how they are shot, mixed with the performances and the writing. Everything in this show builds together to become perfection. Honestly, it's one of my favorite series of all time now. Please go watch it. It's available on Hulu or Disney Plus Star. I highly recommend this. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I haven't read the book, but I seriously recommend this show. It's an epic drama. It can be hard to watch at times. There is some very gruesome violence. And if you don't like reading subtitles, I don't think you'll enjoy that part. But I promise you the story and the performances are worth it. So please, please go support this show. It is honestly one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. I think everyone needs to at least see this once in their life. Thank you for watching this and I hope you consider watching this show.